Spawning in the top right hand corner of Yansu, the Blue Zerg player representing Team Spider. His name is Chuck. And of course, his opponent down in the bottom left, Taiwanese legend, the Red Zerg. His name is Sin. These two players are all tied up after two pretty close games, and now we move on to a best of three to determine which one will be joining us in the Premier League for Season 1 of WCS America 2014. Andre, what are your thoughts on what we're seeing so far? Kind of nice not to have a complete stomp like yesterday. Every single ZVZ we had 3-0, 3-0, 3-0. Now we can see a bit of back and forth, you know? A lot of mind games coming into uh, play here, a lot of standard and not so standard stuff out of both of these players in both games. That's what's really cool about it. And really, if I'm either of them, uh, I'm really expecting a lot because we all know Sen to do some really cheeky all-ins as well, but Czech just showed a pretty cheeky all-in at the same yeah. time. I like Czech's build a lot. It just sort of falls flat against exactly what Sin was doing. It was very close regardless. Sin is fortunate that he saw those flings running out when he did. Had he started another round of drones, he would definitely have lost that game. As we're seeing the first little zergling run around. Oh, oh Sin trying to show off his micro. He's going to pick off a drone. Very nice. Returns the favor from game number. Yep. He says, game "Hey, I got, I got moves like Jagger as well." Didn't bother running up into the main base for a scout, but uh, well, he can ascertain quite a bit from seeing this expansion. Yep. Hey, you went hatch first. That's right. I That's mean, all I needed to know for now. <laughs> he can he can just go for assumptions after that. Like, okay, your standard is going to be six minute metabolic boost. The earliest you can do is like five forty five reasonably. So that's what I have to prepare for. Let me go ahead get everything I need to. You could see the Baneling Nest going up. He'll have Banelings in time for any all-ins once he reacts to it and sees it. But I, I don't really think anything too cheeky is coming out. He's even getting the spine crawl though. So you can see how much he's respecting Check. Yep. Both players in fact doing basically identical builds. Check also getting the Baneling Nest. Check also getting the spine crawler. So uh, nobody wants to fall victim to Zergling Baneling shenanigans. There was a time when, oh, as he's check trying to run past oh, with a couple of links. Out. Oh, oh, he's gonna get it. Moves Check's got some skills, man. There was a time when skipping this spine crawler was considered a risk. Nowadays, it's almost seldom that the spine crawler gets built. Uh, we're seeing both players yeah. opt for it this time around, though. I think they just people just look at and see well. How much damage is this spine crawler actually doing in the early stages? Yeah, it prevents stuff, but even when it's preventing things, you're getting three kills, maybe four kills. Uh, it's a lot of work to actually use these spine crawlers very effectively, rather than just relying on banelings to keep you safe in the beginning stage. Layer on the way for both of our players. Check's going to make a small swell of lings here. And with these lings, he can attempt a poke, you can run around and check for third bases. This isn't enough Zerglings to really do any substantial damage unless Sin makes a mm -hmm. big mistake. Here's right. Sin's exact same six Lings. You know, it looks like both players want to go up to play Muta this time, Andre. Yes, sir. Muta, definitely a good play on this map, I would say. Uh, you just want to limit your opponent as much as possible. Of course, Mutas, let's be honest, they're good on every map. I mean, they're so fast. They do a lot of damage. They impose fear into your opponents. Yep. Uh, but you can see the first deviation, Sen playing it a little bit more aggressive slash defensive at the same time. I mean, he's getting a lot more Zerglings out right now, whereas we saw a big pile of drones come out for Czech. So it makes a lot of sense so far. And Czech is really showing off his micro this time wow. around. Oh. And he's going to be able to pick up a couple of Sinslings. Now that said, Sin does have enough units here to defend his building third hatchery. Now, Sen's probably going to be putting on a lot of aggression. Actually, both players are. If you look at the income tab, they're right around. It should be 44 harvesters that they normally stop. Obviously, both players are going a little bit above that. But 44 harvesters, that's when you're optimally saturated on two bases, and then you just start doing endless amounts of zergling, bailing pressure onto your opponents until mutas pop out. And you're just trying to deny the third base as best as possible. Yep. And uh, Sen's got a pretty re respectable number of units here. As he does manage to slide some lings past that spine crawl, he's going to go to work on this expansion. And with Banelings in a defensive position nearby, it's going to be hard for Czech to stop this. I think this hatchery might very well be canceled. At the same time, Czech did, uh, did manage to return the favor, running some lings past 
canceling the hatchery of sin as well. So such an even game here. Players dealing the same damage on either side of the map. Look at resources lost within 200 resources of one another, or yeah, even 150 resources of one another. Pretty much dead even, right? As we see the first Mutalisks hatching on both sides, both players are going to opt for that very important uh, flying armor upgrade. Flying armor is important because the glaives do damage as well. Uh, so once they bounce, you're reducing the damage in each glaive. That's why everybody really chooses Carapace these days. You can do a plus one attack upgrade, but that's only, well, I shouldn't say only, but for the majority of the time, that's against roaches that you'll do that. Yep. Uh, the If you get an armor upgrade against an opponent who gets an attack upgrade and all things beyond that are equal, you will always win the fight because the splash damage will result in you ultimately dealing more damage with your mutas than he can. Difference right now is Czech has seized control in the middle of the map and now using that control to put damage onto the main base. Muta's flying in and Sen is reacting, but damage has already been done a little bit here and there, just putting on pressure as best as possible. I really like how Czech is playing this, Andre. He's being uh -oh. very aggressive, and once again, he is threatening to cancel the third expansion of Sin, and he's going to succeed. Sin is way too far out of position. And uh, is he even going to lose his spine crawler? Or, well, maybe not. Uh, but could lose his spine crawler in the exchange as well. Meanwhile, Czech has uh, not just completed his third base, but he's in the process of securing it while Sin is running around just trying to defend. That's right. And now Czech has a very easy plan ahead of him. For every minute, he will mine 2.4 2 more mutas than his opponent. So just sit back, wait until you get a lot more mutas. You can wait two minutes and say, hey, I have five extra mutas. I have to have five extra mutas. You wait for one of your upgrades, and then you go. You attack. You will win that air advantage. Yep. Right now, Czech already has a mutalisk lead. And uh, as you pointed out, for every minute that Sin is not mining off of that third base, uh, Czech is going to gain more and more of a mutalisk advantage. And here we see Sin realizing that he cannot commit to a fight. The best way to deal with this, if you're Sen, yep. is just play... Ooh, that's very dangerous, Sen. Ooh. Taking it... Oh, even losing a Mutalisk. This complicates things even further. 21 Mutas to 17 is the count right now. Sin is about to be in a position where he's got going to have no choice but to hover his Mutas above Queens and Static oh, Defenses. No. He's getting himself cornered. Mutas are giving chase. He might be able to catch up to one of them. Oh, this is bad. Sin is going to lose... Every one of these mutas, he does not have the numbers he needs to fight here. Upgrades are even, but the count of mutas is drastically in favor of check, and Sin is going to be forced to retreat once again. And uh, his disadvantage goes from bad to very yeah. bad. Check did put pressure on third base, but now he realizes, I just have an overwhelming muta count with that last That's engagement. It. Just going to go for it, take the win, kill the queen, kill the drones. And there's nothing Sen can do about it. Sen doing one last wow. attack, but it fails miserably as well. Uh, an uncharacteristic miscalculation there from Sen. Very poorly judging the uh, the Mutalisk situation. Yeah, and I would say so. And ends up getting punished very badly for it, losing that air fight and then losing the game. Uh, I, I think also the, the zergling baneling war at the third bases, it was pretty even for the most part, and then Sen lost the second round, right? His third got canceled, his opponent didn't. Uh, that's what you really have to focus on. Or even b before that, losing map control. How do you lose map control that convincingly yeah. when you're doing the same build, when you're getting mutas out in the same time? That shouldn't happen. And it means Sen isn't being active enough on the field with the Zerglings putting the pressure on, forcing the opponent to be a little bit more defensive. We do have to take our hats off to Czech, though, who right. played absolutely brilliantly that game, hitting all of his transitions smoothly, applying pressure correctly yep. at the right times, and man.